right, so I'm creating a mixed media, media abstract panel for a customer in Chicago. As you can see, I've built the panel. I've sketched out my basic shapes, curves, hard edges. This is the piece that the customer wants, similar piece, and this is where it's going to be in his living room. So basically, uh, I'm on the third metal, which is a warm brushed copper. And basically, I take my uh, sander. I round the edges and uh, fine sand the, uh, the chips. And then I'm going to go back into the piece. After I take off the weights, and I'm going to place these throughout the panel so you have a well-balanced piece before I start doing my texture piece. Okay, so the next step in this mixed media panel is I've taped off the areas where I'm going to lay in texture uh, in two different patterns. Basically, I take my spatula, lay in the texture, Then I take my carving tool and I put in these patterns. And then I'm going to take one of my stencils here and I'm going to press it in and pull it up. And I have this nice swirl pattern, which you'll be able to see once the piece is finished. After I, and I'm going to do all these areas here, let it dry in the sun, and then I'll show you the next stage where I lay in my colors. So now I'm about to uh, finish my last uh, couple steps of laying down the paint. Believe it or not, there's over 150 squares in this panel. Um, I did put black and white in the beginning, so I can start getting my contrast. And this step, I go back with a lot of black and white. For example, this area right here <clears throat> really separates this nice, warm, buttery yellow with this cool blue. And when it's finished, you'll see how the, the contrast, this black stripe really makes these colors pop. The paint is com coming along very nice. It's hard to tell right now, but this is the centerpiece right in here. I'm gonna do a nice cool blue. I've got the white, and I've got my three, four copper shapes. Okay, so I have finished filling in all my uh, colors, all, all the different patterns and colors. And now I'm going to take this metallic gold ink, which is actually, uh, enamel base and very strong smelling and bring up my beautiful textures so I put this hair on the paper I take a stiff black cloth and I'm going to rub the tops here and as you can see I'm picking up the beautiful textures that I laid down at the beginning of my process this is the Nova gel textures and this is the heavy texture paste and as you can see I've really picked up these textures and it's really making a difference on the piece so I'm going to do this to every square that has texture on it I'll do one more down here and show you as you can see I'm picking I'm just hitting the top ridges to bring up that beautiful pattern Okay, and then, then my next steps are going to be gold leaf and oil pastels. So now I'm laying down my gold leaf and rubbing it on like this. You can barely see the adhesive, but the beautiful gold leaf only adheres to where I want it to go. Now I am <coughs> painting the uh, round wooden balls and cubes, which are gonna go on the edges of the piece. And basically, 
So I'm going to paint this blue one. I'm going to give it a couple coats of this and then some interference paint and then some gold rub and then varnish it. Now I'm painting the edges of my boards uh, two layers of black to make it go really make the jewel tone colors I have on the surface pop. I painted all the edges black. I put on the gold leaf. Now I'm going to use oil pastels to accentuate my lines. Ruler here. And I'll take the color that's kind of the opposite of what these colors are. And I'll follow my paint areas. So uh, I do this on the whole piece. It'll tie all the colors together. So right now, I have the painting turned upside down and I'm putting in the balls in cubes. Which, the way I'm doing that is after the wooden balls are painted, I put them in my vise and I'm drilling holes in this now to insert and epoxy this metal bolt. Then I will take the balls and put them through this hole here and thread it to the other side. I put in washers. I take the ball, put it in, put the screw, the nut on the back, and do that all the way around. And then when I ship it, I'm going to ship it without these in here. And the customer, uh, I'll number them where they're going to go, and the customer can uh, easily put them back in when the painting gets here safely. Here is my finished painting, Calypso Magic. I hope you learned something, enjoyed something new about how I make my art and my mixed media creations. And if you have a spot in your home or your office and you think something like this would look great, you can look at my website, give me a call. Um, I'd like to know your color scheme and your space, and you can also get a hold of me right here.